This is why Christ said, when he was asked by a young man, what do I have to do to find immortality, to know the divine? And we've covered this before, but we look at it from a new angle. Sell all and follow me. Now, in every little word, especially when it's uh, pronouncing something of a, of a profound teaching, uh, is, a, is a meaning that we tend to gloss over, partially because we don't like the meaning. Sell, what's the next word? Oh. No, he didn't say, look, go get the stuff you don't like and donate it to charity. There's things that, you know, you're not that attached to. Go on, sell them, and then follow me. The words were, sell all, and enter into a relationship that can only be realized in a consciousness that is the same as mine, meaning Christ. So sell all and follow me was a prescription that we've been looking at of late where we start to get this idea that what we have to sell can't be done three weeks from now when it's convenient or part and parcel because it seems to please us to get rid of stuff that doesn't we don't like. It means that we are to sell, to exchange a nature in us that is asked of us to sell because of its attachments, because of the fact that for its presence in us, it is always trying to become what it has imagined it will be when it acquires or achieves those things that will make it whole. This nature that is becoming will never be anything other than a hallucination born of a mind trying to escape itself in the future through things that it believes will free it. Nothing in the future is going to free you. If you wrote that down and meditated on it every day, you would change. But you won't, and I know it, because it's too disheartening to the part of us that has a, per, a place and a position and a power still being formulated wherein I'll finally be free. Nothing in the future is ever going to free you. What if, yeah, I should just stop there. That'd be shocking, wouldn't it? Bye, go home now. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> and the reason that nothing in the future will ever free you is because everything in the world of the future is imagined. It is the world of appearances. It is the world of opposites that creates a future time in which I will no longer feel unhappy, incomplete, frightened, and worried. This is going to be our study.